Just to say a quick hi, we're at the Dufour stand and we're going to have a look at the brand new 2024, 2022 new Dufour 470. Let's take a little step on board. Really nice and easy. Come round to this side. As you can see underneath, I won't lift the hatch, underneath the transom there is a handy little swim ladder. It's quite nice that it's tucked away and keeps everything flush. Nice steps up on the port side and over on the starboard side you can see all the hydraulic action for actually pulling up this big transom. I'm going to pop up these nice little easy steps up here. Here you have your shower for pulling it out. I'm not going to pull it out because they've got it all tidy for the show. Lovely carbon wheels. A compass on the port station somewhere for all your gobblies and a grab handle. You have your wind repeater instruments and all your winches, your main principal winches. There are six on this boat in total are actually brought aft. On this particular model, these are electric and you have your clutches. There is a fantastic rope bin under here for all your storage and there are obviously options as you can see for bringing some of your lines aft this do four is set up with an integral uh, bowsprit You've got your Lumar anchor winch here. And the anchor locker, I assume, is actually accessed from the inside. So we're going to have a look at that. Let's take a look aft. A very, very beamy boat. She tucks in at the end, which is fantastic. This boat's come equipped with it's teak deckings, lovely. All flush hatches. Have a nice seat, sunbathing area at the front, self tacking jib. You have your Genoa tracks either side. This boat's been pretty well set out. And as you can see, all your lines run aft and through to the cockpit of the boat. Right, while we're back in the cockpit, what they've done on the 470 is there's a huge bench seat or sunbathing platform, which is fantastic. And it actually, if we come round here, I can't seem to open anything on this boat, but anyway, underneath here, you have a whole load of storage. It's a big storage cough and here, is your emergency tiller access. We're going to come back round to the helm stations. On the starboard side, you have your engine controls down here. As you can see, your on off starts, all your bits and pieces. This has bow and stern thrusters. You've got your repeater, wind instruments and so on here and your Raymarine nav station. 
I kitted out with, as we said over on the port side, you've got six Lumar um, winches. The aft winches here, the same that's mirrored over on the port side, are electric. You have a second one here, and then further to by the companionway. The table is huge. I reckon you could probably easily sit six, maybe eight people around it. Grab handles strategically around on the spray hood and this obviously all folds back if you don't want it and you want to come into port. We discussed all the lines, you've got all your clutches for your main lines. Um, okay, hopefully we won't disturb anybody. We're going to come down the companionway. And great little closing doors and obviously you have your hatch up the top. Four easy steps down. And I think we're gonna take a look at the cabins first. This particular model is the three cabin version. Very large and spacious. We've got a great port light window there. Oh, what a view in the morning. And an opening hatch up here. And an opening hatch here. And to give you an idea, you also have light for here and an opening hatch up here. So it's three, you know, loads of ventilation. To give you an idea of height, there's plenty of room for me to walk around in. Large, large double bed. And down along the side of the bed, you have storage all the way along. Actually, that feels nice and solid. The workmanship on this boat's really nice. Shelf behind here and blinds for privacy if you want it. This boat comes with heater and air conditioning. You can see the vents at the back there. You have um, engines and system access there, here and behind the door here and all your light switches which is nice you've got your air conditioning controls nice little reading light and a usb charger that's nicely equipped and another reading light plenty of storage Let's see if we can open this side as well yeah look one hanging locker shelves that's fantastic what you would expect on a 47 foot yacht let's take a look at the Toilet, can I have the toilet shot? Hi everyone. This particular boat is fitted out with a manual toilet, but it has a separate shower, which is fantastic. Which you can close off and do this little gidgery gadget at the bottom. Everything it's pretty much there we go and it closes off and you lock it down the bottom pretty nice and tiny i'm not going to go in there because there's water in there for some reason but there's loads of space a seat to sit on access and storage up there reserved water tank you have storage cupboards behind both mirrors
carrying worktop and storage. And Have a look over here in the saddle. More storage, more storage underneath. You have more air conditioning controls for in here. More storage, it goes all the way along. This boat is not short of storage. I reckon you could fit eight people around that table easily. And one of the do for signatures is everywhere you look there's somewhere to store your bottles i'll try and find out from the seller here what size horsepower their engine they have in this particular one lovely seti and this one actually has two positions you can either pop it in like so or put it out as it was before to make it more of a lounging chair, which is absolutely brilliant. Bonjour. Your systems electrics are here, VHF radio and hi-fi stereo system. Huge queen size island bed with access on both sides. Lovely blinds. Look at those port lights. Imagine waking up, looking out onto the ocean, onto that. You have storage up here. Loads of storage, which is same over there. Storage behind the mirrors. Storage all through here. And this, I'm hoping, is hanging space. Yeah, nice deep locker. Hanging space. And over this side, we'll do this side first. You have your walk-in shower, which is absolutely huge. All out here, opening port light ventilation. Hello, everybody. Sink, more storage underneath. I'm going to come back out. There is storage under the bed, but everything's locked off for the show. Your mask compression coast is in the way behind the door. And in here, just on the left, is your heads. And another shower head. Just close that up. We're going to come into the galley quickly. Corian worktop. There's a microwave hidden behind here. You've got main sockets. There is loads of storage up in here. We'll open what cupboards we can. You have stainless steel, fridge freezer drawers, one or the other or both of the same thing, however you want. Storage over here, which is quite brilliant. Put a little espresso machine on. So when you're in a marina or in port, you can make yourself a nice little coffee, unless you've got a huge power bank of lithium batteries. Come over to this side of the galley. It's a double stainless steel sink, 
I have a let you have a quick look at this. This particular boat with all the options it has, as you can see, this is including the AT. So if you can get rid of the VAT, you can take 20% off that price. And these worktops are really, really good. Very heavy, great quality, and that could be a freezer or a storage bin. It's up to you. More storage behind here, as you can see. Let's have a look there. More storage up here. Same as mirrored here. This boat just has storage, storage, storage everywhere, all the way through here. We'll just open the middle one. There's a load of people waiting to come on. 